Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren. Today, I'm gonna do something I've never done on a channel before. I like doing that. This is gonna be a barbecued fatty or a meatloaf that's stuffed with cheese wrapped in bacon. Most people know them as barbecue fatties. This is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do it sous vide, and then we're gonna barbecue it. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter. Sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, well, this is actually gonna be a really easy recipe. If you've never made a fatty before or smoked meatloaf, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people call them fatties when they're talking in the barbecue community. It's pretty much just a meatloaf that you, you can either just wrap it in bacon and smoke it on the uh, grill, or you can stuff it with cheese, which is what I'm going to do today. So first of all, we just need to make a basic meatloaf mixture. So what I've got is two pounds of ground chuck, 80-20. I'm going to take about a half a cup or so of seasoned breadcrumbs. You can use a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on what you want to do. But you kind of need the breadcrumbs for it to stick together. You can use any brand you want. I'm going to season this up a little bit more. And I'm, what I'm going to use today is the Holy Gospel from uh, Meat Church. I've never uh, I've used this rub a couple times. I haven't used it with this, uh, with this before, but it's got a kind of a mixture of a sweet and savory. And that's kind of what I'm going for on this because we got the bacon we're going to wrap it in that's uh, you want the sweetness and then you want the savory for the beef so this one's going to be kind of perfect that in between kind of rub and seasoning so I'm going to put about two tablespoons of the holy gospel in there two eggs these are smaller eggs but um, you can use pretty much any size egg you want And we need that to bind it together as well. And I'm going to use some sharp cheddar because I want the um, I want to be able to taste that cheese. So, and I'm going to put a little bit of the cheese in with the meat, and then we're going to stuff it as well. So, not a ton, just a little bit to kind of bind that meat together. And I'm going to mix this up, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. I got it all mixed up and I got it kind of like in a ball here in the bowl and you can add other things, other seasonings to this if you like. If you want to put some Worcestershire sauce in there, barbecue sauce, it all depends on what you really, uh, how you want to season your meat. I'm just kind of making it basic today because I am going to re-season it before I stuff it and I'm going to season the outside of the meat and the bacon as well. So I don't really want to over season it or have too many muddled flavors in there. So I'm kind of keeping this mixture um, kind of simple because I do have seasoned breadcrumbs. And with this uh, Holy Gospel, it's got a lot of different seasonings in it as well. So one of the things I am going to do first of all is I'm going to take this ball of meat, pretty much lay it out on this uh, sheet pan with some parchment paper. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, flatten it out and kind of make it into a big rectangle so that I can stuff it with our cheese and then roll it up into the shape that we want. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this bacon and then we're gonna do a bacon weave and put it on there. So let me go ahead and get this all flattened out and I'll be back. All right guys, just kinda wanna show you what I got going on. Got my beet rolled out here and what I'm gonna do right in the middle is where I'm gonna put my cheese I don't want to put too much cheese because I don't want it squishing out during cooking. I want to kind of keep it all inside here. So I want to give it probably a good inch and a half or so away from the edges. And then after I got my cheese down, I am going to put a little bit more of the uh, Holy Gospel rub here. You can use any kind of rub you want. Okay. Put that down. Then I'm gonna do my bacon weave. So if you've never done a bacon weave before, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna do uh, six strips on each side. So I'm laying down stri six strips of bacon, pretty tight. 
And then what you do is you just fold every other piece, lay a strip down the opposite way, and then refold uh, the strips the opposite way. And you do this until you got your perfect sheet of bacon. It really doesn't take very long. Once you do one or two, you can knock it out pretty quick. So there you go. There's your basic bacon weave to cover your bacon wrapped meatloaf or fatty, however you want to call it. So I'm going to get this rolled up. And we're going to put this on there. Show you how we'll do it in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back and I'm going to show you one more time. I got my hands all washed up. I'm going to put a little bit of the rub on the inside of this bacon wrap weave. Then I'm going to take my parchment paper and kind of roll in the sides here. And then we're just going to kind of help let it help us along with rolling this meatloaf up. Just going to peel it back, roll the meat into the middle. Just like you're doing a sushi roll. Pull your paper out of the way. And then when you got it all up there, kind of close in the ends. It's like you're making a football. Just going to get that all off of there. You kind of want to seal all your edges here. So you just kind of pat it all nice and tight together. And then you can just lay it right in the middle of your bacon wrap. You kind of want this kind of tight. Like I said, we don't want that cheese leaking out all over the place when we're cooking it. So now that we've got that, I'm going to go ahead, wash my hands off and season one more time here. And then we're going to wrap this thing up pretty much the same way we did over there. We're just going to wrap it up and just kind of let it roll. Let the bacon roll right over here. And we're just going to push it together just like that and there you go and there is your fatty again I'll wash my hands off clean our egg and then we're going to take our seasoning one more time do the outside And we're going to sous vide this at 140 for about two hours or so. And we're primarily doing that to um, just to uh, cook some partially cook this bacon up and make it so when we put it on the smoker, it crisps up pretty good. Because that's one of the things when you cook these, usually you're waiting for your bacon to cook. That's the longest, longest thing that you're waiting for. So if we can get that bacon partially cooked, get everything kind of uh, set in the package, when we put it on the smoker, we're just waiting for that finish, the, the bacon to finish off and get crispy, we'll have a good product. So, all right guys, I'm gonna throw this in a vacuum bag and we'll get it in the sous vide. I'll be right back. Hey all, I'm back. I uh, pulled the uh, fatty meatloaf out of the sous vide. And just like when we smoke any other kind of meat, like brisket or pork butt or ribs, I'm gonna leave it wet. I'm not gonna pat it dry because I want the smoke to kind of stick to the moisture. And as you can see, bacon's kind of rendered. We got had some bacon fat in the um, bag with the other fat and juices. I'm going to put just a little bit more of the Holy Gospel barbecue rub on there. 
I got my camp chef up to 375 right now. We're gonna put that on. I'm gonna give it about 45 minutes to an hour till that bacon gets all crispy. I'm gonna leave it on this rack, on this pan, so we don't get any uh, bacon grease dripping down into the fire pot and causing any kind of uh, grease fire or anything. So let me get this out on the camp chef and I'll be right back. All right guys, the uh, baddie's been on there about 35 minutes or so. And if you were going to, now would be a good time to baste it with sauce. Some people like to do that. I'm not going to do that today. But uh, I'm going to leave it on here for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to pull it off and slice it up. Be right back. All right, guys. There it is. Look at that beautiful looking hunk of meat right there. Just pulled it off of the Camp Chef. It's actually drizzling a little bit of juices out of the side here right in between some of the slices of bacon. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece of this off. It smells amazing, that bacon and the seasonings combining. I cut a piece of the end off. Not really getting any of that cheese, but there's cheese inside the meat. You can see the meat's done pretty good. A good crust on the outside. Nice and juicy. I'm gonna take a piece of this, take a bite here. Look at that. Very moist, very uh, tender. Bacon is nice and crisp. Biting right through it. It's not chewy at all. Pretty awesome. Like I said, guys, you can always baste this with some sauce in the last, you know, 10 minutes of cooking if you want to. I just don't. I put sauce on afterwards as a condiment, so Check it out, guys. Try this at home. Works really well. I said, this is keeps the meatloaf really moist. Cheese didn't get the leak out at all anywhere. Bacon got cooked all the way through. Turned out fantastic. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Make sure you follow the Fire and Water Cooking Podcast wherever you get podcasts. I'm, I'm going to go finish eating this up for dinner. Thanks again. See you on the next video.